This is Wilbur, who sadly lacks sufficient force of personality to attract the notice of a cab driver. Wilbur has just two motions. As he spies a cab approaching, he raises his arm, brandishing the newspaper to flag it down. The cabbie doesn't see him and, as it passes, Wilbur's head turns as his gaze follows the cab into the distance. Although the actions seem simple, the mechanics of obtaining them turned out to be more complex than I'd originally thought. Let's start at the beginning. To prevent the crank from being turned in the wrong direction, I put a ratchet on the crankshaft. The pawl is mounted to the wall and a wire spring keeps it engaged with the ratchet. When the crank is turned, it makes a ratchety noise with which I'm not happy. If I did it again, I'd use a different method. Also on the crankshaft is a worm gear. This is made from a piece of copper wire soldered to a brass tube which is fixed to the crankshaft with a set screw. This worm engages a nine-tooth pinwheel gear on a vertical shaft, so it takes nine turns of the crank to turn the shaft one revolution. Looking at it from the back, above the gear on the shaft is a cam. This controls the mechanism that turns Wilbur's head. As the taxi approaches, his head turns slowly, but as it passes, his head whips around. Then he turns slowly back to watch for another cab. A wire spring keeps the follower against the cam. At the bottom of the vertical shaft is another pinwheel gear, this one with 15 teeth. It engages another 15 tooth gear set at an angle. Behind this gear's support is another cam. This cam controls Wilbur's arm movement. The cam follower has a little weight on it to return it to its proper position. Wilbur was carved from wood, then painted. His newspaper is actually a thin sheet of brass rolled up like a paper. The box is made of pine, joined with dovetails which are quite strong. No glue is used and the wood is left unfinished. The internal upright supports are mortised into the top and the bottom of the box. So there's Wilbur, where we'll leave him in his eternal futile quest to find a lift home.